Hello, this is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is going to cover the structure and basic function of nucleic acids. Uh, the first thing to know about nucleic acids is that there are two kinds. There are DNA and RNA. The NA actually stands for nucleic acids. All right, um, that means they're acidic molecules, and they're generally found in the nucleus of cells that have nuclei. So it kind of makes sense there. Um, the D and the R are also important. We're going to talk about what they, where they come from in just a minute. All right, the structure of nucleic acids, they are true polymers. They're made of, made of repeating subunits called nucleotides. And these nucleotides can either be DNA nucleotides, which contain the sugar deoxyribose, which is where we get the D from, or ribose, which is the sugar in RNA nucleotides, which is where we get the R from. So if you think about it, deoxyribonucleic acids and ribonucleic acids, these are the two different types of nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are um, polar in the sense that they have two different um, ends, so to speak. If you look closely at a, um, here we got a string of um, DNA nucleotides, and we've got a phosphate group hanging off of this end right here, so that makes this the five prime end. And down here we have an open covalent bond coming off of one of the carbons here in deoxyribose, so this makes this the three prime end. So you can say that DNA nucleotides run from five prime to three prime. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more about this when we talk about um, DNA synthesis and replication and all that. But every nucleotide is made up of the three, same three basic parts. You have a phosphate group attached to a sugar molecule, and here we have deoxyribose, attached to a nitrogenous base. And nitrogenous bases come in different flavors, so to speak. You probably remember these. There's adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine, which are the nitrogenous bases found in DNA. If you build RNA instead, you change the sugar to ribose, and you take out thymine and substitute uracil. Uh, same idea though, so here we're focusing on a class of molecules called nucleic acids, which have very similar structures. Now, the nucleotides that build nucleic acids come in two different categories. You have purines and pyrimidines, and I think the most important thing to remember about these is size. The pyrimidines are smaller molecules. They only have one loop here. These, these, the green, red, purple, and yellow here represent the nitrogenous bases. And the cytosine nitrogenous base and the thymine nitrogenous base are what we call pyrimidines, which make these nucleotides a little bit shorter, so to speak. Whereas over here, the purines, adenine, and guanine have double ring structures here in their nitrogenous bases, which makes them a little bit bigger. So if you remember from biology, when you, pair, when you build DNA, you always pair adenine with thymine. You're pairing a pyrimidine with a purine. And guanine, of course, goes with cytosine. Again, it's purine with pyrimidine. You never put purine with purine or pyrimidine with pyrimidine in DNA. Um, we'll talk more about the repercussions of those decisions later on when we show the structure of DNA and we talk about DNA replication. DNA is kind of a special molecule because it contains all the information it needs to self-replicate. Um, it forms a structure called a double helix, which is probably one of the most famous molecular shapes in all of biology. Um, here you have a nucleotide right here, and you have a nucleotide right here, and they form hydrogen bonds across from each other, and then the whole molecule kind of twists into this double helix or staircase kind of model. Very important discovery in biology happened in the 1950s, and again, we'll talk about that in the future. But what you need to know is DNA is a double helix molecule. It's formed of two spiraling strands of nucleic acids um, held together by hydrogen bonds right in the middle here between the purine and the pyrimidine. That ends this presentation, and we'll, um, we'll stop there.